Welcome to day two on board Ovation of the Seas. Uh, the seas are a little rough right now. This morning I woke up and instantly felt seasick, but then got better, and now it's his turn to feel sick. Um, it is so bad that they have barf bags out. I've never seen that before. Never seen that before. They have barf bags out. That's how bad it is. I think a lot of it is that it's very windy out. I think we're going through a storm. You looked at the radar, it looked like we're going through a storm. It's been raining all morning. This morning we did wake up early um, and we did go to the solarium and we had breakfast there and went to the hot tub. Um, but then after that, I it's had, just been in the room for yeah. the rest of that. We took showers and we've just mostly been laying down. Yeah. We've been laying down for hours. As soon as I stand up, I just, I can't do it. He can't do it. So I ran and got us some food from the Windjammer too. Um, but that is, that's pretty much all it's been today. Yeah. Hopefully we get better soon. Well, this is cool. You're getting room service by ordering it on TV. That's awesome. I haven't moved since we ordered this. <laughs> yeah. Well, neither have I, really. Okay, let's take a look at this pizza. <laughs> okay. okay, so first there's a side salad. This is okay, a we don't part. care about okay, that. Ooh, health food. Ooh, napkins. Ah. As we were enjoying our room service in bed, the captain came on overhead to give an update about the ship's motion. Also increase in force. So you should feel more uh, wind force across the decks, as well as uh, more movements in the ship as we will encounter uh, seas and swells from the west on the port beam. At about six o'clock in the morning uh, tomorrow, we uh, will enter the Alaskan archipelago, the inside passage via Chatham Strait, at which point uh, there will be much more sheltered waters and uh, more pleasant conditions. Thank you very much, and have a great day. The winds are going to get worse. I can't even imagine that. He said the rocking of the ship is going to get worse. <sighs> Today just seems like it's going to be a wash then. Because he said tomorrow will be better. Yeah. Because we're in the like inside passage. Oh my, today is just going to be horrible. More pizza and the amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're venturing out of our room. Uh, see if we can do this. We're gonna go get a snack maybe and do some other things if we can if we can get the strength for that, fill up our cups. Here is some of the motion bags. <laughs> for um, your barf. The ship is creaking and yeah. shaking and moving a lot. And in our room, like our hangers are making lots of noise. And, you know, I knew that this Alaskan cruise was going to be um, very rainy and cloudy and windy and cold. I, I wasn't really expecting the motion. So I think, you know, just keep that in mind. I mean, it's not going to ruin the whole trip or anything, but, no. but just, you know, take preemptively take Dramamine and uh, ginger and whatever else. Like I took it once I started feeling sick, which is, it's not as effective. Yeah, do it preemptively. Yeah. Okay, so we were just at the front desk. Um, they gave us free motion sickness medicine, which is cool. That's awesome. They didn't have a deck of cards, um, but he said they normally do, but they don't right now. And he said it wasn't, he, did, he said the motion wasn't that bad, according to him. Yeah, which makes us feel a little bad. Another thing he said was there's 1,700 guests on board. Yeah, I think we looked it up and there was something like over 4,000 is yeah. the normal capacity, so yeah. it's pretty low. So it's less than 50% capacity. Yeah. I don't trust that guy at the front desk. No. Because we're just standing here and we could hardly stand up straight. I literally can't walk. I'm not this, drunk. I can't walk. He's just, this guy, he's just, he has full sea legs and he doesn't even feel it anymore. Yeah. But the captain said that it was motion. So like, the captain wouldn't have said anything. Right. We just walked by the music hall and we think that this is where the second duck might be. Maybe. So let's come in here and see. This is the clue. I don't... I don't understand how that survived. I don't either. How did no one... Grayson, Lauren, Ovation of the Seas, AJ, Philly. 
how did that how did that make it nobody played pool in the time that since they were on i think we should leave it in that same spot all right Wait, do you know the answer? What Disney bird? Named the huge in the 1934 cartoon, The Wise Little Hen. Probably Donald. Oh, I was going to say oh, like an orange say bird. No, I know. I just wanted to know what the answer was. So do you want to check out the Diamond Club since we're here? Right now, uh, we're going to keep walking around and we're going to check out the uh, Diamond Lounge here. Um, just to see what it's like. They have all the menus, all the QR codes up here for each restaurant. So uh, Karen M left us a comment and told us that you could get my status, even though we're not married, but we live together. Um, we talked to someone and now you are my status, basically. Yeah, it's awesome. So that's Thanks, pretty cool. Karen. That's a cool tip that you can, even though you're not married, if you live with them, you can get the same status. Yeah. I want to check out the shop. Okay. And then uh, maybe get a snack and then head back. Okay. So this is the Sundial store, which is like the store with all like the um, stuff with that says Royal Caribbean and the ship name and stuff. This is cool. They have the ship model with the North Star that moves. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so cool. I just asked another employee about the rocking. And they said the same thing, that it's, this is like completely normal and that we're the crazy ones. So... <laughs> we, here's the thing, is it, it's day one and we're not used to it yet. It's day two. Oh, day two. <laughs> but it takes like a day to get used to the ship. Yeah, I guess. So I think after today, like I'm already feeling better. Yeah, I just feel like I can't walk. I know, it is hard to walk, but I think that from now on it's going to get easier. We'll be okay. Yeah. Who knows? Hey, we got our snacks. Um, and we actually are now sitting outside of Jamie's Italian, which we're supposed to go here for dinner. I'm a little worried that um, we might not be feeling well enough to do that, but I think we'll make it, I hope. We better make it. So I just want to reiterate that, you know, even though the ship is rocking, we love the ship. Like, and, like even if we're just laying in bed watching a movie, like, it's still fun. Like, Yeah, we're having a great time. So it's not like detracting from our cruise experience. It's just something that... It's, you should be aware of. Yeah, it's attracting a little bit because obviously <laughs> yeah. we would be like on the rock wall or something right now. Right. But um, yeah, it's still, it doesn't ruin it. No, because you're still on vacation. You're still having a great time. But it does stress the importance of like if you're doing an Alaskan or cold weather cruise, the ship is important because it like, is. like for the Disney ships, for example, they don't really have any indoor areas. And they're smaller, so they wouldn't be able to withstand this weather as well as this bigger ship does. Yeah, and there's so many indoor spaces on this ship, like the indoor pool, which we were in this morning, um, and the solarium. So this is a good ship to be on. Absolutely. Now we're going to head back to our room, and I don't know what we're going to do after that. Maybe like our next thing will be dinner. I'm not sure. But right now, it's watching The Amazing Spider-Man with Andrew Garfield. Yeah, we need to finish our movie. And also, our room is right here right by the elevator banks and the stairs. And I love that. What is this? We, we just got handed this. Aww. Wow, that's cool. That's awesome. But yeah, like even though we're right next to the elevator, there's no sound or anything at all. And it's great because you can just like look and, and like, see your room. room and you're like, oh, that's, that's mine. I love it. Be cautious and mindful as you uh, walk around the ship. Find your uh, surroundings and your steps and uh, hold on to handrails wherever provided, in the corridors and stairs particularly. I expect these conditions to prevail for the rest of the afternoon into the evening. So again, uh, take care, be careful as you walk around the ship. Use the handrails uh, where they are provided, in the corridors and stairs, and uh, be very mindful of your surroundings and your steps. Also in your own staterooms as you get up and move in your staterooms. My thing is, how can they say all of that and then have, like, the team members saying to us, like, oh, this is totally normal. Like, this is a normal day at sea. I think they're just used to it. Yeah. But let's go out there. He's like, be careful on the balcony. My first thought is, okay, I'm going to go out on the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> right. Holy crap, it's windy out here. I'm 
pretty sure I've never seen weather like this on a cruise before. No, this is absolutely insane. Now, do we do a zoomy? Or, not a zoomy. <laughs> I mean, Jamie's for dinner? Or he said this is going to go like this until, like, nighttime. So, like... Yeah, but I still kind of want Jamie's. <sighs> What do you want to eat? I want to switch Jamie's for a different day. Okay. I want to do room service, I think. Oh my god. Okay, we could try Jamie's. Thank you. So here's what we're dealing with here. So apparent wind, 48 knots. That seems high. Um, I'm not an expert, so there's where we are. Consult the expert over here on my phone. A tropical storm is 34 to 63 knots. So basically, we're having tropical storm level winds. He said something about gale force, and gale force is... 28 to 55 knots. So we're... Gale force sounds scary. It does. It's a gale. Who's gale? Why is she so mean? <laughs> if this arrow was pointing towards the ship coming this way, that would be nothing. But the fact that it's almost like coming exactly from the side i think that's what's causing all of our motion so that's the big difference is the direction too yeah while carrie's been napping <laughs> i got the strength to go walk around it's hard to walk around um because of how much it's moving like literally it's like it's difficult to walk like i was like i had my hands in my pockets i'm like i need to take my hands out of my pockets because i'm gonna fall um but anyway um very windy. I went down to like deck five. Very windy out there. It's crazy. And then I went to the pool deck. Um, the outdoor pool, they partially drained. That pool is closed and water's splashing everywhere. The indoor pool is still open and it's like a wave pool in there. And I kind of want to go in. <laughs> I know you're not going to want to. Now it says 50 knots. Oh my God. We're gonna see if we have the strength to go to Jamie's tonight. Lots of hand holding on the rails. <laughs> we got dressed up. Well, not really dressed up, but nicer than my t-shirt that I was wearing. <laughs> well, I didn't make it, but thankfully we were able to get it to go. I was able to make it and hold out and get all this good stuff up here. I can't open this now, but we have Whoa. my garlic knots and tagliatelle, my arugula salad, and in here's Brian's burger, but it's stuck. It's stuck. He can figure that out. He's so strong. We, we have to see it. The camera has to see it. Baby, it's, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh, wow. The waiter was really, really, really nice to me. I gave him a, a good tip, so. Um, yeah. I'm glad I came back because I'm kind of dying in here. Yeah. I was starting to die. After we ate our Jamie's dinner, we felt really tired. We just sort of vegged out, watched a movie. But now we're heading to bed, and we'll see you tomorrow when we go through the inside passage and we make our way to Juneau, Alaska. In our next video, we arrive in Juneau. We see a beautiful glacier and some amazing whales.